Amaya Pawar graduated from Missouri Valley College in 2005 with a Bachelor of Arts in Religion and Philosophy. Pawar holds a master's degree in Threat and Response Management from the University of Chicago and a master's degree in Public Administration from the Illinois Institute of Technology and is enrolled in a third master's degree program at the University of Chicago in the School of Social Service Administration. Pawar currently serves as an alderman for the City of Chicago in the 47th Ward and is the first Asian American and Indian American alderman in Chicago history. Prior to his election, Pawar was on staff at Northwestern University in the Office of Emergency Management. While working at Northwestern, he and two of his colleagues were awarded a contract from Taylor and Francis, a publisher of academic books, to write a textbook based on their work in emergency management. Pawar and his co-authors have presented their work at annual Federal Emergency Management Agency conferences and other national conferences since 2008. Pawar has received a number of awards and honors. He was a U.S. State Department scholar, has been named to the Crane Chicago Business 40 Under 40 list, recognized by the New Leaders Council as an emerging leader under 40, and he was one of 200 individuals invited to the Google Ord Camp. In 2012, Pawar was named an Edgar Fellow by the University of Illinois. Pawar is also active in his community. He sits on the board of directors on the 47th Ward's Common Pantry and the Illinois Center for Violence Prevention, a statewide advocacy organization. You know, I just spent uh, a semester abroad in Spain prior to coming to Missouri Valley, and I was just looking to, um, well, my major was in religion, and I was looking to major in religion, and then when I was looking at schools around the country, I found that, you know, this is a great program. I also wanted to um, experience life outside of Chicago, and so I thought this was, I thought Missouri Valley was a great fit. I mean, I think the great part about the um, religion and philosophy program at Valley is you get an opportunity to take classes in other areas and kind of put your degree together. So I was able to kind of shape my degree, um, not just around religion and philosophy, but also around history, art history, and, and other subjects. So I, it, for me, it was an amazing experience. Uh, Virginia Zank was amazing. She uh, taught the Milton course. Um, you know, uh, Professor Bob uh, uh, in history, Dr. King in history, they were amazing. Um, and they were always willing to take the, take an extra, you know, hour or whatever, or go the extra mile and kind of working with me and kind of putting everything together. Not just um, around my classwork, but when I was thinking about graduate school, um, I can't tell you the amount of time they spent and kind of uh, working with me and working on the application, the letters of recommendation and all of that. So um, for me, it was, a, it was, again, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, Dr. Bubb was instrumental in that um, he really took a lot of time to kind of guide me through the process, but also take a look at a number of different schools. So it wasn't just listen to me, I don't just look at a school out on the West Coast or on the East Coast or in Chicago. Um, apply to a number of different schools, look at which schools make most sense for you, and look at the faculty, and, and then make a decision. And so he was really great in kind of helping me make that decision. Right before the 2004 election, um, we had a really cool opportunity to bring together uh, someone from the Democratic Party, someone from the Republican Party. Uh, we put together a debate with the local officials on not just issues related to um, you know, the 04 presidential campaign, but some of the things that were happening across the state in Missouri, but also more locally. So those are some of the things that I worked on and, and I had a great time doing. You know, we had a lot, of, a lot of fun just exploring central Missouri, just going around, driving, um, and getting to know people around, not only the community, but also in surrounding communities. So one, I mean, winning the election was huge, um, but I think what I've really enjoyed since, since the election is not only getting to know my colleagues working with the mayor, but we've had the opportunity to move forward uh, five major pieces of citywide legislation. You know, uh, things from uh, one issue uh, is looking at wage theft um, in a comprehensive way in the city of Chicago. So um, looking at the social justice issues we added to the human rights um, framework here in Chicago to make it um, illegal for employers to discriminate against um, applicants on the basis of their credit history or simply discriminating against them for being unemployed versus being employed um, and providing preference in that way. So uh, for me, what was really interesting is, you know, I think the direct connection between you know, being a religion and philosophy major and kind of thinking about social justice and working on some of the issues here in, in, in Chicago City Council, I think, you know, there's a, 
not only apparel, there's a connection there. One event that really uh, changed me and my kind of career after Valley was and Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast. And that sort of changed um, my focus. I originally thought I wanted to focus on national security type issues and I eventually ended up studying emergency management um, in graduate school. And so uh, the book that um, we're trying to finish up uh, hopefully in the next few weeks is looking at why uh, the same things happen over and over again post-disaster that we've spent the trillion dollars on disaster response and recovery and most communities are no better prepared after the disaster than they were prior to the disaster and in many cases they're worse off. And um, so one of the things we looked at in, in our research at the University of Chicago was you keep seeing the same social problems pop up every disaster and government has not done a good job in accounting for those same social, for those social problems. So this book um, is based on that, is looking at how communities can look at pre-existing vulnerabilities in communities and take action before disaster hits. So one, get involved in public service, and that doesn't necessarily mean you just have to run for office. Um, get involved in public service, what that means working for a human service agency. I know Valley has an amazing program in uh, human services management. And so um, get involved, um, and, you know, and if you're thinking about running for office, don't wait until someone tells you that it's your turn. Um, I certainly didn't, and you know, I had a lot of people tell me that I was crazy for running for office. Um, but I think what's really important is if you put your career in someone else's hands, um, you might be waiting forever. And so I would take your career, your future into your own hands, and you can shape it. And, that's just, and that also might mean you might have to give up other things and work really hard. But most good things take a lot of hard work. So that would be my advice.